So everywhere I look in the Bible, I see how God turned impossible situations around. Just this week, Jesse was teaching our staff on Wednesday morning, and he gave the example of Jonathan, how he was an, he, and his armor bearer who were up against impossible odds, that all of the army was, actually, they didn't even have a sword in the army. They had been disabled by the conquering armies that were around them. And, the, and that there was a point where Jonathan crawled out of the cave. In fact, I even use this example in my book, How to Behave in a Cave. But Jonathan and all the, all the Israelites were hiding themselves. But Jonathan slipped away from the camp, and he stepped up, and he brought his armor bearer with him. And because he told his armor bearer that God is not restrained to save by many or by few. And there were multitudes in that army. And these two, one, one and two, the Bible says where two or more agree is touching anything, right? And Jesse preached a few years back, and we've been continuing to declare it, that I'll be your two. Yes. Right? How many twos I have in the house? We know how to pray and agree and trust God. Well, this is what happened when they came up out of the cave. Those armies just melted before them, and God brought a great victory. But it was because that armor bearer said, you go and do it and do everything that's in your heart because my, I am with you. Yes. Amen? Amen? God is with us today. Amen? Amen? No matter how impossible it looks, how my difficult it may be, when we stand with God, all things are possible. Yes. There's, like Betty said in that verse, there is more with us than there is with them. Amen. The story she's referring to, I think it was Elijah, Elijah, Elijah and his servant were, uh, oh no, it's Elijah, I can't, I get them mixed up. One of those two. <laughs> Somebody knows, you can, theologian, you can help me, I get them mixed up sometimes. About, I need to quit saying I always get those mixed up. It's not a good confession. But anyway, the point was the uh, prophet was, was standing there with his assistant and they were looking at the army and, and the prophet said to his assistant, there's more with us than there is with them. Well, there was only one, the prophet and the assistant that was there, right? But then God, he said, he prayed and he said, Lord, open his eyes that he might see. And when, he opened, when God opened his eyes, the assistant to see what the prophet had already seen, he could see multitudes, legions of angels standing around a whole lot more than that army had. And because of that, they won a victory that day. We need to just open our eyes and see that God has a great victory ahead for each one of us. Hallelujah. We don't serve a wimp God. We have a great big God that created everything we see. And he's in this place today, and you have a divine turnaround. It's your destiny. Yes. And we need to be walking toward our destiny. It's not enough to just hear somebody talk about it. You have to capture it yourself and believe it yourself and declare it yourself. Amen? Otherwise, you're going to fall short of what God really wants for your life. Right. We're not going to have that here in this house. No, sorry. We're not going to have yes, it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19 and 20, you're going to read those foundational scriptures. It says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. I love that. All of heaven and earth that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. That thou mayest love the Lord thy God and that thou mayest obey his voice and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. So this was a great promise, and this just reminds us that at any promise that God has given us, he says his word will not return void. So any promise that you can find in the word of God, he says he calls heaven and earth to record about it. Amen? So he has our victory. He has our turnaround. He has our miracle. Whatever it is that we need, amen, that's in the word of God, he has it for us today. Yes. Say that with me. I have it, I have it. today. Today. I love it when Renee changed the words of that song and she says, it's ours now. Amen. This is how we fight our battles. This is how we win our battles. We can even say, this is how I won my battle. I don't know. I know sometimes it's, you're going through some things, but it's about time to get through it. 
to say, that's how I want it. Let me show you how you can win yours. So that's the purpose of it, right? So we can rise up, become victorious, be victorious, walk out our victory, and help someone else along the way to find their victory. Amen? I don't know if I can even stand. See, I feel like I'm just, I'm just running in my heart. I'm running around this place. You know, I, I, I got Dana Angel in the house. She might be my designated dancer. I might need a designated runner because I got my heels on today. about Pentecost, but when I got born again and filled with the Holy Ghost, I, I, got, I got into the radical zone. I'm telling you, because I know that everything my God did for me is so powerful, so good. He's so big. You know, before I got born again, I didn't even think about God. But the moment I did, everything changed. Because because of this, everything else has changed. I'm a new creature, a new creation. The devil doesn't know what to do about me. I like to keep him guessing because God wants every one of us to choose life and blessing and experience a divine turnaround from death and cursing. So we have a choice in life. Amen. I'm going to read it again. The definition of turnaround, I have three different ones. It says an abrupt or unexpected change, especially one that results in a more favorable situation. Another definition I found, it says a complete change from a bad situation to a good situation. So when God gave me that word, a divine turnaround, I know that's what it meant. From one way of thinking to an opposite way of thinking. Number three, to change for the better. I love that. My life definitely changed for the better. The moment I accepted Jesus into my heart. The moment I said yes to everything that he's called me to do, instead of walking away and turning back or shrinking back, I stepped up and, and, and obeyed him when he said, do this. Sometimes I did it terrified. Sometimes I did it with thoughts of, of discouragement, but I did it. And I pushed through those, those wrong thoughts and the wrong thinking that really didn't come from me. I recognized that wasn't my thought. That was the enemy's thought that he was trying to keep me back. And I know the same is true for you, that we're in a warfare, but God has a battle plan to keep us victorious every single way, every single day, every time we stand for him, amen? And in this message series, I told you both all times, and I'm going to repeat this, it says I've told you about three basic steps for a divine turnaround. Number one was, and if you know it, you can shout it out, <laughs> acknowledge the problem. You can't change if you don't even know that there's a problem there. Isn't that true? you got to have a clue. You have to know that this is not working. I keep doing it my own way, and it's not working. At some point, you have to acknowledge that there's a problem. And when you do that, no matter what level of believing you're in, maybe you're not a believer at all, but at some point, you have to acknowledge that there's a problem. That's number, two, number one. Number two is you have to change direction. So once you recognize that there's a problem and you've been going in the wrong way, you got to change direction. you got to turn around. Amen? Amen? you got to go another direction. Not a whole complete 360. you got to do a 180 and go back the other way. you got to change direction. Hi, I'm Kathy Duplantis. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all things Jesse Duplantis Ministries. God bless. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.